Another position talk, man. This one's on the running back position. We're going to talk about Dalvin Cook today, too, man. I know a lot of people brought it up. I know, I think it was, I think it was Colin Cowherd or someone brought it up. I forgot who it was. Someone brought it up. And we'll talk about it today. Let me see, let me see who brought it up. I know someone brought it up. I'm trying to think who brought it up, though. Oh, who brought it up? Someone brought that up, though. Oh, Pat McAfee. Oh, Mike Mike Lombardi on the on Pat McAfee show. He brought it up. So we'll talk about it today. But also we'll talk about the running back position. So like, comment, subscribe, run intro. Welcome back to the Protest Sports Network, aka the PSN Commanders Network. It's your boy Tom. We're back with our video AGT. You're going to golf. Our gods right now, golf up indoors and paving ways for all you wonderful people in Jesus. My name, pray, amen. Today's video, if y'all want to skip to the beginning of the video, hit the minute and one second mark of the video. Let's get right into it, man. So, who make, who make, who make the, who made the team at running back? And should we sign Dalvin Cook? Now, much more in deep detail. I'm going to have a short on YouTube channel already about it, but. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with the Dalvin Cook thing. So it'll be more about the Dalvin Cook thing, more of an who's going to make the roster. Could we kind of know who's make the roster? I think we're going to keep four running backs. Ooh, excuse me. I think those four running backs are Brian Robson Jr. Uh, he had about 220 carries last year, a little over 800 yards. Yeah, three touchdowns, maybe four. Not exactly sure. I can look it up real quick. Just want to make sure. But I think he had like three touchdowns. Don't don't quote me. Uh, let's see real quick. Let me see. 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 Oh, he had 797 yards. So he had 205 carries, 797 yards, two touchdowns. Average about four yards a carry. Okay, cool. So that's what he had last year. Um, so Gibson, the next guy, of course, hit about 145, 150 carries, I think. Uh, probably less than that, honestly. But he probably about 140 carries, around 525, 550 yards, and like uh, two touchdowns rushing. Maybe two touchdowns rushing. I know he had a couple of receiving touchdowns, too, though. So he was more impactful in the passing game in years past, but he definitely was a Decent runner last year. Also, a six round pick, uh, Chris Rodriguez Jr. out of Kentucky. He's making his team, obviously. He'll probably be the primary ball carrier behind Brian Robinson. I think they're going to move Antonio Gibson around in terms more of the weapon type of guy. And I think the last guy who made this roster is going to be kind of a spicy take here. Casimir Allen will make the roster as a running back. I think they look at Dax Mill as a specialty receiver, as a slot guy. And they don't want to cut him. So I think they're going to use that raw spot on Dax Mill and they have Casimir Allen as a running back slash receiver slash kick returner a hybrid type of guy. Kind of like how Curtis Samuel is. But he'll be technically a wide receiver, a, a running back. So I think he's going to make the team as a running back. So that means to go make those. Those are the four guys who are going to make the team, right? Uh, Jonathan Williams is interesting. I think he'll probably be a practice squad guy. I think Jared Patterson. Uh, I love Jared Passion. I think he should make this team, obviously, but for some reason, he just don't make this team. I don't know why. I don't ask him questions. I just don't know why. I don't know why Jared Passion don't make this team. Just don't don't ask him questions. I don't know why. I'm very confused to this day. He's a solid runner. He's not the best athlete in the world, but he knows his holes. He's very fundamentally sound. Make this team, but he doesn't make this team for some weird reason. But let's get to this Dalvin Cook thing. Because kind of wild what we want to talk about today. Dalvin Cook, I'm good on. He's 27 years old. He's still relatively young. But he has a lot of trail on those tires. Uh, I'm good on Dalvin Cook. He's a really good running back. I get it. I think he would help this team. But he stunts the growth of Antonio Gibson, Brian Robson, and our rookie running back, Chris Rodriguez Jr. They would not get the carries they're looking for to increase their value in the league and also be contributors to this football team. They drafted Chris Rodriguez to be a contributor. They didn't draft him to sit on the bench. So I think a guy like Dalvin Cook should go to the Chargers or something. I want to – I know why the Vikings come. They need to save the money, obviously, beyond this year. 
I think Dalvin can go to a team like Kansas City and thrive. But they like Isaiah Pacheco. So it's kind of hard. A lot, a lot of teams like their young running backs, but they like that running back on a rookie deal. They don't want to pay no running back a bunch of money. I think the Chargers are the team that's going to pick up Dalvin Cook. Only because they don't know what's going on with Eckler. If Eckler doesn't want to play, they have Dalvin Cook as an insurance policy. So that's the teams will probably pick him up. Maybe a team like uh, maybe Dallas, the Cowboys, because Tony Pollard is the only legit running back on the roster right now. They can bring back Zeke, but Zeke is definitely a much inferior running back to a Dalvin Cook right now. Once you want to upgrade, get Dalvin Cook. And you put less tread on uh, Tony Pollard's uh, wheels as well. You put less tread on his tires and keep him fresh because you want him to be explosive. You don't want him being beat up and injured and all that. And let's you know he loses explosiveness, which is the best part of his game. So probably Dallas or Los Angeles with the Chargers. I can maybe see a team like. Hmm. Hmm. Not the Jets. They like they like Brees Hall a lot. They got Michael Carter too. Hmm. Maybe the Bengals because they don't have an insurance policy behind Joe Mixon. Maybe the Bengals. Ah. And Dalvin Cook is great catch out the backfield as well. So that's another thing you want to kind of. Um, uh, kind of, you know, take into account with Dalvin as well. He's a really good pass catcher. Uh, the Dolphins, another team that's been linked to him as well. So there's a couple of teams that can use the Dalvin Cook, but it's not the Washington Commanders. So that's going to probably wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I gave you the four guys with the roster, and I gave you some Dalvin Cook talk. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe to the PSN Commanders Network. Also subscribe to the, uh, to the Life of Tone channel, which is my vlog slash fashion channel down below. I do reaction videos. I do... Uh, clothing hauls, uh, sneaker, uh, how to styles. I do a bunch of stuff on that channel. It's kind of a more of a freestyle type of channel for me over there. So I do reactions. I do fashion stuff. I do sneaker stuff. I do anime talks every other Wednesday with uh, Rico from Street Scores. Uh, so go watch that stuff and go to watch that content. And enjoy it. And comment your thoughts on said content as well. And you guys have a great one. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay healthy. And all remember that if you're not the most athletic or talented, you're a sport choice, long professional off the field, technically sound. You will always overcome like a talent, athleticism through hard work and dedication, man. PSN, Commander Fantasy Show, like always. Have a great one, guys. I love y'all. Y'all be easy. Y'all be safe. And uh, stay blessed, man. Catch the next one. Bye now.